Did he ever work in an ice cream factory as I did? Did he ever have to face the wrath of affirmative action as I did because of his race? This man is a spoiled individual who gets away with virtual murder. And the reasons are quite apparent. We're going to go into hour number three where we have additional speeches that are being conducted as we speak on the floor of this shameful thing called Congress. It's all sound and fury signifying nothing because your president has outmaneuvered them. Now you may say that's a good thing. Is it a good thing? The will of the people be damned. The will of Congress be damned. Is that our, is that our system of government? That a dictator could emerge like this where there are no longer checks and balances? How did this happen? I don't know how it happened. Who's to blame? I don't know who's to blame. Join the Savage Nation. Call now. 855-400-SAVAGE. 855-400-7282. Savage. It is the Savage Nation. Uh, we know what the headlines are. Obama orders the U.S. to admit 10,000 Syrian refugees. This is after jamming the Iran deal down our throats, after numerous other insults to our way of government and our way of life. This relentless, psychotic community organizer now says take 10,000 Syrian refugees. He ordered his team to admit them, at least 10,000. Same time we're getting ready for the Pope to come here. People are saying, is he really Catholic? What does he represent? Russian troops already in Syria. That we know. Today, the Senate Democrats blocked the move to derail the Iran nuclear sellout. Europe's refugee crisis, unprecedented in modern history. Trump soars a new poll. Clinton's email woes. That, that You forgot that already. The email woes. They're called email woes. In other words, she's the poor victim. That, that's how AP... Yahoo News, Clinton's email woes. You hear this? It's her, it's poor woman. She's being picked on for getting rid of 30,000 emails, which may have had, let's say, security implications. Denmark closes border to German trains over migrant influx. Hey, good for the Danes. I didn't know they had it in them. They were so busy having marijuana and heroin and ecstasy and sex. How did the Danes get their brains together? And suspend rail service to and from Germany to block the uh, the wave, the waves. How did they do that? I, it's amazing. Are the Danes can still do that. We can't. We can't block the trains. Let's see what else is in the news. The latest. Merkel says no legal limit to refugee numbers. I, what happened to her? I don't know. Merkel went insane. I don't know what they got on her. I'd like to see that card deck. Pope will find U.S. church struggling to hold on to Latinos. What? You're kidding me. I thought they were all Catholic. Isn't that part of the bill? Isn't that the bill of fare? Where'd this come from? Pope will find U.S. church struggling to hold on to Latinos. What, are they not going to church? You're kidding me. I had no I, I thought everybody was a religious guy. I didn't know that. I thought they were all, uh, I thought they were Catholics. How do you like that? Catholic Church? Oh, evangelicals have set up shop here, too. Aha. Uh -huh. That's what's going on. I get that. Okay. Protestant preacher in the same So a lot of them becoming pro Protestant. That's, that's my problem. About 38% of adult Catholics in the U.S. are Latino. Uh, Latino. I don't like the word. That, that's a political word. The correct word is Hispanic. 38% of adult Catholics in the U.S. are Hispanic. These numbers are increasing at the same time a steady stream of America's Catholics overall leaving the faith. Wonder why Catholics are leaving the faith. Heh. <laughs> Keep the faith, baby. Immigration and the high birth rate for Hispanic Catholics have more than made up for the losses, helping the 68 million member denomination continue to grow. Yet Hispanics aren't sticking with the church the way they once did. In 2006, about 8 in 10 Hispanics who were raised Catholic stayed in the tradition. Figure dropped to 7 and 10 last year. U.S. Hispanics are joining Pentecostal movements or abandoning organized religion entirely. I had no, this is an interesting story. I have no idea. This is a, a very interesting story unto itself. No sarcasm intended. So the Pope has a real job on his hand. He's got to do a good, a good selling job, a real bill of goods here. Got a big selling job. I wonder if he's going to do it by talking about melting ice, uh, ice caps. 
That should really appeal to them. Join the Savage Nation. Call now, 855-400-SAVAGE. Savage. Warning. The Savage Nation contains adult language, adult content, psychological nudity. Listener discretion is advised. And now, America's most exciting radio talk show, The Savage Nation, home of unprotected talk, borders, language, culture. And here he is, Michael Savage. It is the Mad Savage Nation, and we are very angry that we have no representation, not a government of the people, by the people, or for the people, by any means. A government where the people can be fooled all of the time by Obama, the old Abe Lincoln canard. You can fool some of the people some of the time. You can fool some of the people all of the time, but you can't fool all of the people all of the time. Is sort of true, but Barack Obama is such a magician that he can override the will of the people, the will of Congress, and common sense itself, and throw in with the Iranian terrorists and give them everything they want and get nothing in return. And so who do we blame for this? Well, let's start with the press, the newspapers, the dying industry of the newspapers. Here this afternoon, for example, in the midst of all of this madness, Obama selling us out to the Iranians, getting nothing in return. Obama gives a speech this morning. Again, he always raises the stakes. you got to understand how, how communist community organizers work. They keep hitting you so hard one day after the other that before you could absorb what he did three months ago, he's on to the 90th thing. So after the Iran deal, now he tells everyone that we're going to take in at least 10,000 refugees from Syria without Congress's approval. So you turn to the press. You'd say there'd be some outrage about this because if a Republican did this, they'd be screaming about a dictatorship. Here's what the Daily News has today. Inside the madness. No, they're not talking about what's between Obama's ears. Inside the madness. Never before seen photos from the packed Aurora movie theater where madman James Holmes killed 12 in Bloody Rampage. That's the headline. Next story is uh, shocking images from inside the Aurora movie theater crime scene. Daily News. Next story is the freak. The circus freak, Caitlin confronts Chris over Kylie graduation this this is in America now next expert says NYPD cop who tackled James Blake follow protocol but should have apologized this is what a tiny pill can do to you Scottish teen left in coma and a wheelchair after taking ecstasy MTA was useless in helping woman stalk by masturbating creep on subway Tennessee woman want book Tennessee woman wants book about cervical cancer ban because it's pornographic Shall I read on? This is the Daily News. This is what the strap hangers read in New York City. The average subway rider. Pete Hamill, what has he got to say? Let's see. Is he still living? I think so. Yeah, he's still there. Pete Hamill. Death takes hold among the living after 9-11. Oh, that's a flashback. It's like some talk show hosts now are, are, are doing flashbacks every day. Instead of dealing with the news of the day, which is astonishing, they're talking about how great they were in the 1980s. Playing sound bites of themselves in the 80s. I never heard anything like this. Let's see. Oh, there's Donald Trump on the news. Donald Trump rolls back insults of Carly Fiorina's looks. We insulted her a day early. Do we have that sound of him insulting her a day early? What did he say about her looks? 10,000 Syrians to... Oh, there it is on the bottom of the page. Sorry. 10,000 Syrians to U.S. Question mark. America could accept flood of refugees over next year under President Obama's plan. <laughs> His plan? What plan? To flood America with Muslims from Syria without vetting them for terrorism ties? That's his plan? Okay, these are some of the headlines on the Daily News. We open the show now to listeners in hour 3, 855 U.S. may accept 10,000 Syrian refugees under President Obama's proposal. See how, how it starts out? Proposal. He starts out soft. And then he jams it down everyone's throat by outmaneuvering the morons in Congress. And telling the people you don't exist. By the way, the U.S. the U.S. has already given about four billion dollars, four billion dollars, to relief agencies to help stem the crisis in Europe. We've given them four billion dollars. Now your president wants ten thousand 
We've already taken in 1,500 Syrian refugees. Many more Syrian refugees would help boost the U.S. response, said Josh Goebbels Ernest. Play Josh Goebbels Ernest today so they know what I'm talking about. This year uh, that will end, the fiscal year that will end at the end of this month, uh, the United States is on track to take in about 1,500 Syrian refugees. He would like them to accept uh, at least, make preparations to accept at least 10,000 uh, Syrian refugees uh, in the next fiscal year. See how cheerful he is, that ni nice Goebbels? Unbelievable. Germany, France, Hungary, Italy, and Sweden are taking in most of them. They'll regret it. They'll regret it. They don't care what the people think either. Every one of those countries had a referendum by people who said no more immigrants, no more immigrants, no more immigrants. And what do the, what do the, what do the leaders of these countries do? They, they ignore the people. They tell them to drop dead. Germany, where there's a strong center-right movement against the flood of immigrants who are destroying Germany. And I'm not making this up just for rhetoric. They are destroying the fabric of German history, their borders, their language, and their culture. Germany is being flooded by them. So what would you do with this problem? Oh, it's a big problem. More than 380,000 refugees and migrants have arrived in Europe by crossing the Med and more than 258,000 of them landed in Greece. Greece, the weakling of Europe. If you even want to call it Europe, I don't know what, it, what part of the world it is, Asia Minor? Why Greece? How do they get to the, the island of Lesbos, no less? That's their landing point. Les that's kind of ironic, but let's not go there. They're aiming for the island of Lesbos. And from there, it's the golden, the golden road. They all want to go to Britain where the morons who run Britain give them a handout the minute they get there. Okay, you want to talk about this or it's too much already? I think I want to talk about it. Let's play some sound about this insanity that's going on with the death of the West right in front of our eyes. Boy, was Spengler right. Otto Spengler. I didn't know him personally, but I would have liked to have known him. Otto Spengler, I think it was in 1908, wrote a very important book called The Death of the West. And he predicted that the West would, Europe would disappear, being overtaken by uh, Asia. Asians would, would swamp Europe. Okay. Economically, he was 100% right. That's already happened. But old Spengler didn't know that uh, the rest of the story would include a Muslim invasion of Europe. Not with swords, not with guns, not with tanks, not with airplanes. No with the Trojan horse of liberalism. So now let's listen to the head of the U UKIP party in England on this uh, insanity in, clips, in clip one. Thank you. Uh, Mr. Juncker, you've simply got this wrong. As I warned you in April, the European's common asylum policy sets its terms so wide that to say that anyone that sets a foot on EU soil can stay, I said it would lead to uh, a flow of biblical proportions and indeed that is what we're beginning to see. And that's been compounded uh, by Germany last week saying that basically anyone can come. Now, that's an interesting side note. How did Angela Merkel, who was originally a center-right politician, become a stooge of the radical left is a real question. Now play clip two. As I warned earlier, evidence that ISIS are now using this route to put their, to put their jihadists on European soil. We must be mad to take this risk with the cohesion of our societies. If we want to help genuine refugees, if we want to protect our societies, if we want to stop the criminal trafficking gangs from benefiting as they are, we must stop the boats coming as the Australians did, and then we can assess who qualifies for refugee status. How come we don't hear anything like that here in America? Where is such a vigorous voice in the United States of America? Doesn't exist. Certainly not as articulate, unless you're listening to my show. But in Congress, they don't exist, do they? We don't have one articulate spokesman for our national interests. Instead, we have these crackpots, these losers, these anti-Americans, these haters of our way of life, like Louis Gutierrez. Every time you hear his voice, you need to reach for a towel to wipe the slime off your ears. Listen to clip five and get the towels ready. You know in the movies when someone has to make a choice and a little devil and a little angel appear on their shoulder to give good and bad advice? 
Well, that is what I feel America is going to feel like in a couple of weeks 